All right, uh, section 2.4. I want you to th imagine that, that I'm going to ask you to graph a line. Um, what would it take? What would be the minimal amount of information you would need to graph this line? Um, if I gave you pretty, pretty simply two points, that's commonly all we look for. If you have two points, then that should be enough. All you need is two points to draw a line. Uh, that's it. You just need two points to draw a line. Okay, so two points would be sufficient information to draw a line. Um, how about a a special point? Uh, the y-intercept. What if I told you what the y-intercept, where it goes through the y-axis, say down here, and if I told you the slope, let's grab another color, if I told you the slope, like this. Well, that would be enough, right? Because then you can make another point and you could draw your line. Okay, so a uh, y intercept and the slope, that would be enough information. And then, this is a it's kind of more general case of what we just talked about. Not the y-intercept, but what if I just gave you some point? If I gave you this point, and I also told you the slope, the rise, and the run, then you could find another point right there, and that would be enough for your line. So, if it's enough information to draw a line, then it's enough information to write an equation of a line, and that's what we're going to be doing in this section. Um, we're going to write equations of lines. And if I give you two points, that should be enough. A y-intercept and a slope, that should be enough. And a just a point in general and a slope, that should be enough. If I gave you two points, um, you could find the slope between them, and that would be enough information. If you have the y-intercept and the slope, uh, you could just put that information right into the slope-intercept form. Uh, and, and that would be way easy. Uh, if you had two, uh, if you had a point and a slope, there's this new thing called the point-slope form, and let's uh, let's just come up with that right now. We know that m is equal to um, you know some y value. Um, let's call it y1 minus some other y value over x1 minus some other x value. So if we multiply both sides by x1 minus x, we get to cancel this out. And m times x1 minus x equals y1 minus y. Uh, and so 